Hi guys, I'm using iPhone 10 here with iOS 12. I just wanted to show you that tethering does work with this thing. I have this USB cable from Amazon. And I have to disconnect my mouse and plug it in. So what I do now is stop my wireless. And I should have internet connectivity on this interface. It's got a crazy name, but now I'm tethered. You can see there's like a blue thing here on the on the top here. That means it's tethered. There is a Wi-Fi sim symbol, but as you'll see in my bug report, I'm still connected by mobile data at this point. This is the bug report I'm talking about. So it was broken before and now it's fixed. So this is why I'm making a video. But I thought I should quickly point out that um, I noticed that DNSSEC was failing on my mobile operator here in Malaysia called Maxis. And I'm also aware that their DNS um, is controlled by the government, shall we say. So I propose you use something like this in, uh, in a country like Malaysia. So what I'm doing here is saying I don't want to use the DHCP DNS. And you have to put this line here, use DNS false if you're using system D network D. And then I define the uh, the Google DNSs. <laughs> and I also specify DNS over TLS. And to see it all, if, it, if it all works, you, you can go like resolve CTL, inspect your DNS server which actually doesn't seem to be right at this point in time. Huh. Why isn't that right? Did my interface name change? Uh, this interface name changes is just gets me every damn time. Yeah, it seems to have changed. You see how that one's subtly different to that one. Okay, all right. The joys, I think the, those things, okay. Let's try to fix this quickly. So what you want to do here, the, the reason why it's called, um, sorry. The reason why I have it at 10 and 20 is that I want, you know, it's alpha numeric presidents here, so so I want to set up my tethering internet interface before my general inter internet interface. Oh, by the way, when it comes to my general network here, I have a micro tick, which I generally configure with the, the IPs then and there in, in the micro tick. So the DHCP gives me the right DNS. So now it should work. I just need to restart system the network D maybe. Let's have a look at Resolve CTL. It's still not correct. Maybe I need to go reload. Maybe I need to restart mm -hmm. System D mm -hmm. Network D2. Oh man. System D System D life, right? Yes, now we're doing it right. Yeah. These look right. So if I just ping a domain like youtube.com, and hopefully we're using even. Oh damn! This means my. This means this thing has stopped working. Sometimes it takes some time for DNSSEC to to get going, but I'm 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 using DNSSEC here so that I can't be a victim of DNS spoofing or whatever. I mean, that's the idea. In practice, is it really working? Come on. Uh, Pingu.com? Oh, great. Took some time to get going, but yeah, now the DNS is working. Well, you don't have to use this DNSSEC tip, but there you have it. I thought I would just share with you Resolve CTL um, 
it's important to bear in mind that the DHCP that you get overrides your DNS. So you have to put use DNS no. I'll link to my, my bug report. Um, there's a couple of man pages that I should probably reread or something. Uh, or rather I'll link below. But otherwise I hope you found that useful. Please give the video a like. And yeah, I'm sorry I'm a bit tired and disorganized. I just got a newborn back there. But I thought I would make a video nonetheless. See you guys, good night.